So first I thought I'd show you what my Google form looks like. So when my customers at the party click on my link, it takes them to a form that looks exactly like this. This is what my customers see. I'm going to show you how to do it, but I just want to let you see the finished product before I continue. So basically, it's an order form and a questionnaire all in one. So in order to make your Google form, go ahead and Um, go to Google Forms. You can just Google Google Forms and the first choice that comes up should be google.com forms. It looks like this. If you don't have a Google account yet, then you're going to have to create one. It's free and you just have to create a username and password. If you have a Gmail account already, then you already have a Google account. Go to Google Forms, and this is my account, so you're going to see all the forms I've created in the past. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to start from scratch, so go ahead and click on Start a New Form. This is what it's going to look like. Now mine's purple. You can change the color. Go ahead to the color palette. I'll show you an example. Um, if you want it red, purple, pink, you get to choose your color palette, which I think is totally cool. I like mine to be purple right now, so I'm going to stick with that. You're going to name your form. I call mine party in your PJs. Order form. And the description is I put with Michelle Labarca. I also want to have a picture. If you saw my form a second ago, you saw there was a big colorful picture at the top, and that's important to me. So right on the side here, these are your options for what you can do with this. I can add a video, I could add an image, I could add a title and description. I'm going to add an image. Now a word about my images. What I do is I go to um, PowerPoint and I create my images in PowerPoint. This is an image I created and I use this for my um, Tupperware Facebook parties. I also like to use it at the top of my order form because I like it to kind of match. So um, I like, I created in PowerPoint so that when I have a different host, I could put the hostess's name here, party in your pajamas with Jessica, party in your pajamas with whoever the host is. Um, I'm, for this order form, I wanna put party in your pajamas with Tupperware. And uh, I love PowerPoint because you can kind of adjust it and move things around. And once I have it exactly like I like it, I do a screenshot of it on a, I have a Mac, I use Command-Shift-4. If you're not sure how to do a screenshot um, or an image shot on your computer, you can Google that because all computers are different. I have a little crossbar. I'm just going to drag it on what I want the picture to save as. I want it to look like that. Now that's saved onto my desktop. I have an image now that I could put into my Google Forms. I'm going to close that down. I'm just going to close it. So I could drag my image here, choose an image to upload. I'm going to just find that image that I just created. It's on my desktop. the one I just created, it's going to upload and then it's going to be on my form. Give it a second. And there it is. Okay, so I'm done. I'm ready to, um, if you want to check your progress too as you're creating your form, go ahead and click on the eyeball up here and it's going to show you what it looks like so far. And that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. So click back on the edit and I'll take you back to the editing. So I'm ready for uh, my first question. I'm going to click on it and my first question is host name. And 
it's not really a question the way I have it. So what I like to do is go down here and click on these three little buttons and I want to show a description. So I just have a description bar that pops down here and I just write uh, who invited you tonight. Now over here it's the type of answer you're looking for. Are you looking for a short answer? Are you looking for a multiple choice answer? A drop down menu? A scale? A grid? I'm looking for a short answer. Um, Google Forms is pretty intuitive when you type in your question it usually guesses what kind of answer you're looking for but if it doesn't guess correctly you can click here and choose maybe you have a multiple choice answer like yes, no, or maybe. <clears throat> I'll get to that in a couple minutes when I show you my different questions. So I'm done with the uh, first question. I'm going to click on the little plus sign and it's going to add another question. So your name. And see, it defaulted to short answer. It's exactly what I want. I'm ready for the next question. So I continue on with what's your email address? What's your phone number? What's your um, Let's see, what items would you like? So here, what items would you like to order tonight? And I want to have a little description under that. So remember, if to add a little description, you're going to click on the three dots, click on description, and I write, uh, please list item names and prices. Now this is guessing that I want to check boxes. I don't. I want a paragraph answer here. So that allows my customer to make a long list of things that she wants. I didn't do short answer because I want her to be able to hit return, hit return until she's done filling out all of the items that she wants. All right. I'm going to show you uh, one of my questions that has a multiple choice. Um, this is a good one. Would you like to purchase the attendance special tonight? On this one, I like to add the image. So I click on Add Image. And I find it. Let's see, I have my. That's my attendant special. Would you like to add the attendant special tonight? And the the choices are. Option one, yes, please. Or option two would be no, thank you. And then I'm ready to add another question. Now you notice um, what happened here is that image isn't where I want it. So this is a good thing for me to show you. If your image doesn't end up where you want it, because I want that image above, would you like to t uh, purchase the attendance special tonight? So if you click on these six dots and drag it up to where you want it, you can, you can move it around. I don't want it there. I'm going to move it down a little bit. Um, sorry. I want to move it right above that question. It's not letting me. Easier said than done. All right. So you can move this image around to wherever you want it. This is where I want it. Would you like to um, purchase the attendant special tonight? Yes, please, no, thank you. So that's an example of multiple choice.
Now, if you ever get to a box and you want to get rid of it or you made a mistake or you don't like it, you can always uh, hit trash can and it will delete that box. So you just keep adding, adding, adding until you're done, until you've covered everything. On an order form, I think it's really important that it's not just an order form, that it's also a questionnaire. So I like to also include at the very end um, something about maybe booking a party, a question about booking a party. Um, I like to um, have a question about, would you like more information about the business? And I like to have a question about um, if they want to be added to my monthly email list where they'll receive the specials. So I get a lot of information from my Google order forms. When you're done with it and you filled out all the questions, so I'm not going to go through and do every one because I just wanted to give you an idea on how to create the questions. Uh, hit preview and just look it over. Make sure it's right, make sure everything's spelled right, make sure everything's in the right places. When you're happy with it, click back on edit. There's one other thing I wanna show you while we're here. Uh, when you go into your order form to see the responses, you can click on responses. It's accepting responses right now. It's waiting for responses because nobody's responded yet. Um, but in order to view your responses in an Excel sheet, you're going to click on this little button right here. And it's going to create an Excel sheet. Now, as soon as one of my customers clicks onto my Google link and fills out that form, this is going to, all the information is going to pop up in real time right here on this Excel spreadsheet. So I love this. I'm going to close it for now. So that's how you're going to see, um, your customer responses. They come in real time. You don't have to keep refreshing your page. They're just going to pop up. It's really nice. I leave mine open on my computer at all times and every day I just go in and look at my Excel spreadsheet and I'll see if anyone um, has ordered since the last time I looked. And it's really kind of fun to see the orders coming in that way. I'm going to go back to my Google order from this one other thing I want to show you. I think it is here. Settings. Uh, the settings are defaulted pretty much where I want them, so I just want you to uh, click on presentation because there's a confirmation that um, once someone is finished um, filling out the order form, they're going to get a message that says your response has been recorded. Well, that's kind of a general uh, response and I don't like it, so you can change that message. So instead of saying your response has been recorded, I would write something like, thank you so much for your order tonight. I really appreciate it. Um, if you needed me to contact you by phone for your payment, uh, I will be in contact with you in, within the next 24 hours. Something like that would be a great message to put here. And once you've recorded the message you like, hit save. Now you're ready. Now how do you get the link to your order form? Let's see. Click on the button that says send. And what you're going to do is you're going to want the link right here. So click on the link. This is your Google order form link. It's very long, very complicated. So just click on this box right here. It's called shorten the URL. Now that's much easier. This is my Google forms link. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to save it somewhere where I can easily access it because at my Facebook parties or I can text this to a customer. I can email this link to a customer. When a customer clicks on this link, it's going to take them to that Google form, and then they can fill it out. So it's really that simple. Once you've done that and you've saved your link, you have yourself a Google order form, you can go in, you can edit it anytime since you're the owner of this um, order form. If you have any questions, just comment below and I will try my best to get back and answer all the questions that come up. Thanks so much and enjoy.